Oh yeah, Innocent Sin, you can be bi. Yeah, um, early Persona. Like I said, there's a reason I say early Persona is weird. Because of the fact that it did things Modern Atlas doesn't want to do. Where they did stuff that was like out of the norm at the time. So, yeah. Yeah, apparently they were like really slow. I think Persona 1 had the same problem where um, Persona 1 essentially cut off some stuff. Like it literally, because of localization issues, um, it had to cut out a quest and there was a lot of weird stuff happening in the dialogue. Tatsuya X the boy who carries flowers. <laughs> yeah, and from what I'm aware, only Persona 1 and 2 are true dungeon crawlers, like old school dungeon crawlers, like first person. Or at least Persona 1 is. Persona 2, I played a bit of it, and oh my god, it's just so much better. <laughs> like, it is way better. Like, the they removed all the jank from P1 in P2, from what I can tell. Yeah, a lot of fans were begging for FEMC, but I think the reasoning they said it was, um... What was the reason? That we essentially wouldn't have gotten Persona 3 Reload. Now we would have gotten, like, a few years later, and it would have taken a lot more time to make. Funny thing is, is that all they really needed to do is port the original storyline over. I mean, fans are already doing that. I mean... Hardcore fans have already fixed the UI for FEMC. Fix the dialogue for FEMC already. It was both actually, Jet. But yeah, it's like... Fans already are adding in the dialogue from the PSP version. Already adding in some custom animations for FEMC. And already, like, added oh. in, like, some of the... Get the script. I'm back. Yeah. Yeah, like, there's FEMC Reloaded, yeah. That... I helped my mom get a box off a shelf. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware FEMC Reloaded is a, is a thing. We were talking about like Persona 3 Reload and why FEMC should have been a part of it, but the thing is, we don't know why. The devs said it's a problem and... because of budget reasons and also development time. Like, literally, FEMC was just, you know, the main storyline, but with like FEMC and some alternate dialogue. I blame Atlas personally. They pro. I mean, it. One thing I gotta say about Reload, it feels like a very budget remake. So I went to play it with a lesser processor than what I had. And it was stuttering badly. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Um, Where it shouldn't do that, because I was able to play it in 4K with no problem my other processor. Yeah, that's what it feels like from what I'm aware. Because isn't like, um... Like, because here's the thing. Because Persona 3 Reload, is, as long as the original game, and all it really did was just put everything in a modern lens. Yeah, it's not like Persona 5 where they straight up redesigned dungeons. Yeah, it's something like Yakuza Kiwami and like a Dragon Ishin. That's what it feels like. It's like that, essentially. Why is that even installed on this machine, Persona Free Reload? I do. I have Reload on PlayStation. Yeah, and the, on this machine. I think the plan for now involving Persona is we play through P1. We're going to play through them all in order. Like, we're starting with P1, then we're working our way to P2. And we might talk about if we're going to either do Persona 3 Portable or Persona 3 Reload. And I'm kind of leaning towards portable because of FEMC, but at the same time, Reload has all the improvements, so I don't know. I tried streaming Reload a while back, but, you know, that didn't really take off. And so, for now, we're doing Persona 1. Let's, like, screw this. Let's do this in order. Not only that, oh, I'm just curious. Apparently, on what the it does like. not... Apparently, uh... Percent of free reload does not like reflections on when you're playing on like lesser hardware or Steam Deck. Interesting. Oh, and here's the thing: P3 Reload is basically just P3 Fest. Like once the DC, once the DLC is, is out, Persona 3 Reload might as well be Fest at this point. That's literally what Reload is gonna be once the DLC comes out. It's gonna be Fest. Going to free Fest. Well, <laughs> you see, you say that, Doc, but. The DLC is literally the Igus storyline. They're adding it in as DLC. Yeah, I'm aware. I guess apparently the answer kind of sucks. Like I'm aware the answer is kind of a bit iffy. Like not, it's like it's it's essentially no spoilers, split. guys. I'm still playing through the story mode for three. Kill yeah. him. 
Like, I'm aware that the answer kind of sucks. I've seen a lot of complaints with it. Not for you, chat. This more or less goes for Shinigami because he's very good at blurting out game spoilers. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I am. Unless this is games I've never played before. Which is why when yeah. I'm playing Yakuza, I have to be like, shush! <laughs> you say that for $30, but here's the thing. Fest by itself is kind of decently long. Like, oh, how long is the answer? I'm going to Google it real quick. Persona oh. 3, Persona 3, the answer, full length. Let's see, how long's the answer? Jesus Christ! Long, Nin I take it? Wanna know how long it is? The answer? How long? 30 hours. Jesus Christmas. For 30 bucks, that's a deal, considering gaming today's gaming climate. It's like 30 it's hours, a apparently. Weird stutter with uh, reload. I didn't have this in my... It must not like my AMD processor. Oh, 100%. They're have probably gonna... Mind. How do I say this? 100%, because I'm used to that with Atlas by now. I was talking with JP... Or, yeah, it's 30 hours. I was talking about it with uh, JP earlier, about how Atlas likes to re-release their games. And... Um, and I that, feel fucking cheating, because I have the OG version on Switch, and I'll have to buy it again. No, the answer is. I'm like, hoping they just offer. I'm hoping they just offer it as like a DLC pack for the original, and then just upgrade you that way, so you don't have to pay sixty bucks. That'd be nice. Nah, I think what they're gonna do is that they say they won't do FMC, but then again, that's how we got. I doubt they're gonna boost performance with this new one on Switch. Yeah, because here's, here's the thing with their. Here's the thing though, is that Atlas, they say they won't make an upgrade yet. They've been doing it since the 90s. I'm not joking. They remade, like, Persona 1 twice. No, not Persona 1. SNT 1, like, two, three times by now. One on PS1, one on on Game Boy, and then another port for iPhone. So, it's very likely they might add in FMC, like, in a few years down the line. Because they already have all the textures made. They just need to add in some extra text, redo some cutscenes, and then they're good. Like, um... By the way, chat, I have a curious question for you guys. So every time I bring up the game Boyfriend Dungeon, Shinigami cringes. So would you want to see Shinigami play for Boyfriend Dungeon, which is a queer dungeon-crawling dating simulator, and oh, it was pretty fun. I would say that I don't own the games. I can escape with the excuse because of that. I have two copies, no excuse. That, and also because <laughs> I forgot that, um... I forgot Steve that... Steve's also linked deep bit. <laughs> I'm like, God <laughs> damn it, I can't escape it now. It'd oh, be really yeah. funny. I would disagree kind of with the Shinji arc, because if you do Katone's, um, from what I could yeah, tell... Uh, kinda... Boyfriend Dungeon, if you played Hades, it pretty much takes the combat of Hades and lets you date your weapon. You can be straight or gay in the game, it doesn't matter. It's actually just really fun combat, and I kind of recommend it if you like that kind of thing, like Hades gameplay. I dated the graffiti girl, because she was, uh... Ooh, yeah. My kind of woman. That, I want to get it on Switch, so that's also why I'm waiting. Yeah, and that's probably a good explanation. Imagine a DMC crossover. Here's the thing, Daddy Virgil and where Daddy you can Dante. Date, that'd be Ooh, fun. Boy. There's gotta be a mobile game in Asia where you can do that, though, surely. Dude, here's the thing. You put Dante we and Virgil... We underestimate the Asian Dude, mobile market. Do you realize what would happen if you put Dante and Virgil in there? The amount of women playing that game would skyrocket. People were simping for V already, and people still simp for Virgil. You underestimate just how much of a Chad those Question, two are. Am I allowed to make sex jokes on your channel? I don't give a fuck, dude. We swear plenty of times. Perfect! Oh my god, the amount of women's whose, women whose ovaries would explode with just fountains and fountains of just female g be insane. <laughs> like, Capcom would have to sell buckets with the game. Yeah. <laughs> like, because like I said, DMC... Now I gross has a whole chat for the night. <laughs> DMC has a lot of clout. And there's a reason when DMC 5 came out, it took like four years after the remaster of 4. Yeah, nope. to, yeah. We went without a DMC game for eleven years canonically, like in terms of like actual. Sequels. Are they making another one? Uh, not yet because they're so focused on Dragon's Dogma Two, they couldn't really afford to make DMC Six. 
Yeah, so the not world's only, focused on Dragon Dogma too. Not only that, Itsuno, he wants to work on more stuff that's not just Dragon Dogma and DMC. So out of the top 10 selling video games right now on Steam, two or in the world actually, PC and everywhere, two of the top selling games right now are made by one dude, and that's awesome. Yeah. Because, um, there's a lot of encounters here, and I mean a lot. And I memorized the lyrics. Because it played so many times. Actually, I just Googled them. Oh, then you have a lot. Then you must have an open mind, man, because those segments suck. Even, like, Jesus Christ. My patience, though. Yeah, it has, like, a lot of mini bosses. Like, I was waiting for the damn thing to end, and it ended, and it never did. It took forever. Are you talking about the yacht dungeon? Yeah, the yacht, the final area. Or the, the semi to final. I didn't mind the bosses. Like, the when you got to fight in that dungeon, the combat segments were great. It was the puzzle segments that sucked. Yeah, I know, it took like five minutes, but those are like the longest five minutes I've ever felt. <laughs> oh yeah, Jet, get ready. Oh, I hope you, oh, you, you, you love frequent, you love random, but, but in, uh, I can't speak. You love random encounters? See, Shinigami beat Royal, and I would beat base Persona 5, so I don't feel like purchasing a copy of Royal. Yeah, Jet, get ready to hear this battle theme very often. The reason we stream like this I mean, for like I... three hours, so... I'll play P2 did so you I can know... hear P1. Oh, okay. Did you know that Persona 3 Reload is not on Switch? <laughs> well, yeah, because it uses Unreal, and Switch does not play nice with Unreal 4. So the Persona... Oh, I know that. So the Persona, I guess, 345 package on Switch, funny enough, includes Royal, which is on the same... Includes Royal, the P... Uh, the one with... The Persona 3 version with FemC, and Persona 4 Golden. Yeah, it only has Persona 3 Portable, Persona 3 4, Persona 4 Golden, and P5 Royal. That's the only ones they have. So that so means... I only saw one developer throw something on the Xbox One during the last uh, thing I watched. Yeah, apparently Switch 2 might have DLSS, which means they're going to have a lot of improvements, like for frame rate stuff. And the thing is, you know Xenoblade, right? Xenoblade Chronicles X? <laughs> Expect the next Xenoblade to be a very big game. Because they were able to put a game as beautiful and as big as Xenoblade Chronicles X on the Wii U of all things. The Wii U! The Wii fucking U. Nintendo's... Let's see. Nintendo's like, second abortion. The abortion that managed to be successful, that had a, that had a lot of good bangers that didn't do much. The thing was, the Wii, you know what hurt the Wii U? Its early library was abysmal, and it only started getting good stuff toward the later to the latter end. But since nobody bought the hardware, the system failed. Yeah, not only that is that, shockingly enough, I remember Black Black Ops Two came on the on the Wii U, and that game looked good, like surprisingly. Are you sure? Cause I saw screenshots. Yeah, it was on. Black yeah, them. Black Ops Two on the Wii U. It looked surprisingly good. Not gonna lie, because it was zombie you though. Because here's the thing: it was stronger than a PS3. De it was definitely stronger than a PS3. That's for sure. It's just that, you know, it was the Wii U. Listen, if the Wii was a GameCube with uh, more power, then the Wii U was an HD GameCube. Because I love action games that let me customize my combos. You know what pisses me off? All the main fighting game franchises, even Fatal Effing Fury, are getting new games. Everything except for Soul Calibur, because Bandai's busy on fucking Dragon Ball. And Tekken. I mean, am I gonna buy Dragon Ball? Yes! Because it's been Soul years Calibur? since we got a Also, game. yes! Yeah, it's been years since we got a Tenkaichi game, and the fact we're finally getting a new one after years is amazing. I just want them to give Soul Calibur an actual good shot and not rush it out the door this time. <laughs> Pokemon like six. Pokemon Company. Sorry, no. Here's Pikachu branded soap instead. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> they actually had that, I think. I saw that in Dollar Tree the other day. Wait, hang on. They have to have this shit. I swear I'm not fucking crazy. Dude, once you find it, send me... Oh, yeah! Third Strike! I forgot! But wasn't that technically because of the backwards compatibility or some shit? Or did was Third Strike actually ported to PS2? I fucking can't right now. 
the, it <laughs> sent me an image. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no way. Does it actually? Can you put this up on screen? No fucking way. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see this. <laughs> No fucking way! Let me see this. Hold on. Soap. No, hold on. They have bar soap, but it's not official. Oh my god. Hold on. I must buy this product. Oh my god! <laughs> Save image. Hold on, no chat. Hold on. Put that on hold screen. On. No hold on. Hold on. Hold on a fucking second. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, hold on a sec. Where would you be without me as your co-host? Oh, I'd uh, be gone. A double collection kind of game, yeah. Hold on, let me find uh... out. <laughs> it's choking. <laughs> add exist, no, wait, not add existing, create new. Alright, time to go. Jesus. <laughs> um, chat? <laughs> this is... This is real. <laughs> new and improved formula. No. Oh, it's body wash and shampoo. <laughs> No. And it's tier free. I might actually buy this because I like tier free soap. What the? I'm trying to find the image <laughs> of my files. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Be right back. Watch this. I might buy Hold that. On. I'm taking a screenshot of that. No. Oh fuck no! It's twenty, dude. It's twenty five bucks. It's twenty five <laughs> <stopped> bucks. <laughs> they stopped making it. I, damn it, I would actually buy that. I'm, I'm mad. Why is that 25 bucks? Because they don't make it anymore. He's... <laughs> oh, it's amazing, though. Look, look chat. <laughs> You're wondering what we're laughing at. <laughs> hey, look. There it is. <laughs> look, chat. Fuck it's right me. there. <laughs> this makes me want to start a novelty goddamn soap collection. Sorry, oh, God. This makes one start Premium <laughs> Christ. Premium soap. <laughs> Twenty-five dollars is a good price. Hell no it ain't. That's a fucking scam. <laughs> I don't think it ain't anymore. Do they know? also was from Bed Bath and Beyond, so <laughs> Oh my god, bro. <laughs> So, I was curious if they made, uh, toys with Pikachu's face on it. And yeah, they make toys. That's all I can say without us getting banned. Yeah. And it's for women, so... Do what you will with that info. Men will use those too. Really weird men. Yeah, it's because they hate themselves. Metal also, fans. there's a toilet we're fighting on screen. Us metal fans, I actually quite enjoy, uh... Not full metal, but I like when it's mixed with just normal rock. I like Gent. I can't listen to like a full song where they're just screaming. I like, like Gent. I like when it's mixed in with other stuff. I prefer Gent. I'm listening to- I- I'm also listening to Fabio, who's a, uh, what do they call them? Like the nerd- who's a nerd core artist that does a lot of metal stuff? Jet be like very totally family friendly toys. <laughs> Complete, oh, it's completely family friendly. It even comes with ears. <laughs> Want to tell them the reviews? Uh, I think it was an Etsy. Wait, there might be reviews. Holy shit! Hang on. Uh, this is not ki very kid-friendly Pokemon. <laughs> no shit. Female Pikachu of Heart Tales. This is for men. Yeah, they're right. People think you do have heart nails. Aw, oh, man. I thought I could get them. God damn it. <laughs> the nah, there's no funny ones. People are just saying what it is. No shit what it is. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that'll be funny jokes. Never mind. That sucks. Let me see if there's one for the reviews for the one on Etsy. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Hang on, loading. My poor Etsy account. Oh, not signed in. <laughs> it's such nice quality and fits so comfortably. Oh, my God. very good. My boyfriend <laughs> loves it so much. Oh my God! <laughs> Can't read this one. <laughs> no. Works exact. Works as intended for certain. It certainly <laughs> plugs the holes nicely. Great for beginners. My partner was new to these, and it's a great starter. Not intimidating at all. I have a quality five stars. 
doesn't recommend this item. <laughs> Wait, you just gave it a rave review and put doesn't recommend this item. <laughs> my poor Etsy account. The company is called Geeky Sass. Jet, my poor Etsy account. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I hope our viewers are both over 18. <laughs> we have a problem. Oh, he just barely realized what you said. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> my poor Etsy account. Yeah, my poor Etsy account indeed. Uh, right, first off, is everyone in this chat over 18 before I reveal this? Well, I'm not saying anything if you guys are under 18. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> I've been to a similar situation. But it wasn't my mom, it was my really? aunt. Really? Yeah, it was, but it wasn't my mom, oh, it was my aunt. It's better than your mom doing that. I still appreciate the thing. It was my aunt that I did it. in a while, though. It was my aunt that did that. Really? That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, but instead of, like, because I don't like, because I thought I was lonely, it's more like, because I was, as a joke. Because, you know, when you're in pre yeah, hopefully we didn't. Because, you know, when you hit pre-beauty, you start getting those feelings. You know? Oh, yeah. And then... Wait, what were you, 14? <laughs> Yes, and then she re and then as a joke, she bought it for me, and I'm like, hell no, get that away from me. I hope we didn't lose half of our audience by talking about sex. What you mean? We might. Oh no, nah, I don't think we did. Hopefully. Oh my. <laughs> no, no, you're as old as JP here, man. You're both. I'm 28. Yeah, you're as old as him. <laughs> you're actually older than me by eight years. I'm barely turning. I'm barely becoming the legal drinking age this year. <laughs> yeah. Funny there's an eight-year age difference between us, yet we're still getting along like a house on fire. Yeah. Holy shit! Persona One sold two hundred one thousand one hundred forty-seven units in Japan in its first week. <laughs> What sort of standards are we dealing with? 90 standards or modern standards? <laughs> this is for the first one. 90 standards or modern for... standards? What do you, What is it? Probably 90 standards from the look of it. Why well, does it look like the PS1? Oh, by the way, chat, mm -hmm. I found an image of what the PS1 map looked like. You guys want to see it? <laughs> I I'll PTSD, so no. No, I'm asking chat, not you. Yeah, you, you don't have a choice in the matter. <laughs> yeah, I want to see what the... <laughs> Y'all want to see? <laughs> oh, I was born before this game came out. I'm older than Persona One. Jesus Christ! Impressive, ain't it? I'm also older than Pokemon by a month. And because of that, the franchise ages with me. All right, cool. Let me load up the image. This is what the Persona... I have a... This is the I have one of those Persona. giant 20th anniversary Pokemon packs in my cabinet. And it I'm waiting till the... This is the Persona 50th. 1 map. Let me find it. I have an image. I'm waiting exactly 25 years to the 50th anniversary... Or 25th anniversary, my bad. And I'm waiting exactly 25 years to the 50th anniversary to open that bitch. I downloaded this... Because everything in that pack will be super rare. I need, I need to get the screenshot again. Hold on. Persona. Or did I download the image? Hold on. Browse. Downloads. Oh my god, the comments on my Podigree video I posted earlier are amazing. Want to hear them? Let me see it. I played it once and my opponent gave me five dollars and a kiss. It allows me to draw three cards. Who knows what it? Who knows what effect it'll have? Found it. Here like it chat, is. you guys don't know what Pot of Greed does, right? Here it is. No one knows what Pot the of Greed does. The map for Persona One. And if you do know what Pot of Greed is, you're a fucking liar. <laughs> this is Persona One's map. <laughs> yep. This is the map. I have to see this. I gotta run off the screen for a minute. I sound like a boomer right now with the way I fucking snort. And I apologize, chat. Oh, I can't see it. It's barely showing. The stream needs to update. 
It doesn't look that bad, but it's <laughs> such an amazing People map. are gonna have so many questions on the Pikachu soap bottle once we post the VOD, or you post the VOD. The VOD's never gonna be posted, don't worry. It's just, um, they're gonna wonder what the hell we were, we were doing. So YouTube wants me to watch a creepypasta call I used to work wait, at a hardware store gotcha, in Ohio. Wait, it got you, you use Pot of Greed in tournaments? Oh, no wonder you got disqualified. That card's banned, you can't use that! Yeah, apparently he's been Jen banned for the... years since the beginning of the game. Yeah, it's been banned since they made the ban list, so he's yeah. an old Yu Gi Oh player. Yeah, he must have used it during tournaments when it got banned. Uh oh, he probably banned. used it before it was banned because they only implemented a ban list like late to, into the first year of the game. But yeah, oh. this is the map of uh, Persona 1 on, P on PS1. <laughs> you said that card's banned for a reason, especially in Exodia decks. I, oh! You read that wrong. I know what Pot of Green does. It gets me disqualified from tournaments. <laughs> you read that in reverse, dude, and that's my job. Oh, I'm dumb. I you did. are dumb. Wait, you were still. Wait, you you got banned? Oh, wait, either way, he still got banned. He just said it. I didn't know he got banned dude, until my first tournament. Really? Yeah, he did. Oh, that's know. awesome. True. And they're giving all their money to the mobile division. And are essentially giving the gaming division scraps. The expel mirror is here, right? Maybe. And they actually gave a shit. Oh, finally, I get the speaker's mark. That's suspicious, dude. Again? Yeah. That's right. The expel mirror was on display here. Once you have the expel mirror, we can fight the demon. Yay! What was that thing in the school? No, it's because remember they talked about when, in order to progress to like the side back, I think we need to find a, a a mirror, which is exactly what this is. Here it is. This must be the expel mirror. Whoa. Gotta invest in the big Pokemon gotcha machine. I wonder where Pokemon gets their money. I know it's not the I know it's not the game, that's for sure. The anime. Mostly the mobile division now. Because Trading I, cards in Mobile Division, that's where they get their money. Oh, yeah. They I, And JP keeps mentioning it. Apparently they streamed one time in space. They did! To bring in the new year. Don't think this. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. What? Uh, what was that? Look at little girl's face. She was not saying enough to take this. She mean the expel mirror? Who gives a damn? We gotta have it or else. I can't smoke. This dimension's weed sucks. That face just now. It looked like my. The weed in this dimension is just blue. Hey, Arnalia. We can fight the monster in the subway once we have this, right? Up to Nick Spell Mirror. <laughs> Apparently, this thing's one of the easiest things to get. And we were just sort of wasting our time doing anything else. Were we? Yeah, apparently like a lot of guys are saying, wait, oh, yeah, this is the easiest thing to get. It takes like two to three minutes. Well, my dumbass- Dude, this monster reminds me of this old BBC video of this like fish monster that's like, it's like, I have a mangina! And it's the most- <laughs> The fuck you just say to me? Thing. No, dude, it's this old BBC comedy video. And it's about this like hermaphrodite fish. And he constantly keeps saying as a jerk throughout the video, I have a mangina! That's the funniest shit. What the fuck? How do you remember this? No, this monster just reminds me of it. It came out a few years ago. Oh <laughs> my great. god. I don't remember the name, but I would look for it. Fucking great, though. Analyze. Let's see. We. I was gonna say, nowadays the term mangina is extremely <laughs> offensive. Jet's like, huh? <laughs> oh my! I'm sorry, huh? No. Very funny game. Ugh. And I got an encounter. Great. Fun. Great. 
This is gonna suck. Oh, I hate these types of dungeons, man. They fucking suck. <laughs> oh, I hate my life. Oh god. I bought my friend a cheese. I bought my I bought my blind friend a cheese grater for his birthday. He later told me it was the most violent book he ever read. So, got any crushes? Yeah, this has been some on my mind too. Google, you are terrible at finding weird jokes. No, here's the thing. That's not just P1 players only. That's literally any dungeon crawler ninety gamers thing. Literally any game from like Dungeon Crawl from the nineties. Mainly Atlas did this shit and it was so frustratingly annoying. I, w I remember, believe it or not, I'm going way back for this one. Uh, apparently, there was a Devil Summoner TV show. That is a, a very obscure fact I know. Yeah, there was a Devil Summoner TV show, and, um, yeah. Oh, dude, I want to play Jack Bros. It looks so... <laughs> Jack Bros is the best SNT game. SMT4? Nah, that's nothing compared to Jack Bros, though. Persona 5? Poo! 2 out of 10. Jack Bros is amazing. <laughs> Yog Sothoth Jr. That is a Cthulhu ass name if I've ever heard one. You hold the Expel Mirror. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the Soul Trinity movies. I forgot that was a thing. Because I think with the rise of Persona, they try to make like a spin-off anime that wasn't just a base off Persona 4. <laughs> I'm in the house like carpet. You hold the expel mirror. You cannot pass until you have the precious, I mean, defeated me. But you cannot pass until you have defeated me. I'm literally strangling myself. Oh god. I can't do that voice either. Oh I god. knew it. I knew it was gonna say that. Let's do this now, yeah. By the way, do you have Ugh. another joint? Ugh, what a tasteless creature. And uh that horrible smell fucking gross. La shub nigorath la yog sothoth. I I I I yeah you can't say that third one, that's racist. No, that's Cthulhu. I like I know, how me. Persona 1 and 2 had this Cthulhu thing going on, but then abandoned it with P3. Kind of. Yeah, they should have abandoned it, because, um... This sounds right out of Kingdom Hearts. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, because I know they kept talking about Cthulhu in early in P1 and P2. It wasn't until, like, P3 where they just straight up said... You know what? Fuck the Cthulhu. We're doing ghosts and shit. And supernatural beings. Oh, so Persona was originally going to be Cthulhu Mythos? Yes, literally. It was literally Cthulhu. They even had, like, um, Nyarla Thotep as the villain for the entire franchise. <laughs> I'm not joking. Really? Nyarla Thotep is the villain for the entire franchise. And then they're like, fuck it, we're going to make it a school simulator instead. Yeah, that's literally what it is. This all started because Nyarla Thotep, literally, it's ex Literally, Persona 2 confirms it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I know it's racist. It's it's very racist because it was made by someone who was so racist that other people were like, hey, yo, other racists were like, um, you want to chill with that, dude? Wait, what was? Uh, um, Lovecraft, you know, because he was, like, incredibly racist. Oh, yeah. Speaking of 1920 shit. Like, They're worse than the like, boomers we have now when like, it comes to racism. Like, bro, like, how racist do you gotta be where other people who are, who are also racist gotta say, yo, chill, dude. <laughs> dude, so my grandpa was born during that time period, right? And he went to McDonald's once and was like, why are all these yellow people here? Oh my god. Thank god, my mom almost died. Because he fought, he fought the Japanese in World War II and he hated Asians. So it's like, jeez, yeah. Christ. Yeah, Nyarla Thotep, Thotep's the big bad for the entire franchise. It's just that they've literally lost all story relevance in later games. Now we're, now all the protagonists of 3, 4, and 5, five are just dealing with the consequences of Nyarla Thotep. 
Literally, the shadows do not exist without Nyarlathotep. You can blame that thing for him. For him. Yeah. Yeah, you can literally blame them for the- blame that thing for the entire Shadow Realm. Oh, yeah, if they do make P1 and P2 again, like, remaster both games, they could call it the Nero- Nar I can't even fucking pronounce the that. Narla 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 uh, the Narlathotep The Narlathotep saga. Yeah. Is it two a direct, like, one of the few only direct sequels? Yeah, Persona 2 is a direct sequel to one. It just has, like, you know, different characters. And it's also the last game to have fucking Philemon, which... A character as important as Philemon shouldn't be held back for just these two. Philemon is literally what? Igor's boss! I can't wait for- speaking of Atlas, I can't wait for, uh, Metaphor Refantasio. I saw the footage today, it looks fucking awesome. Hashtag blame Gnarly. <laughs> so I'll make that a fucking Twitter tw Twitter thread and just say blame Gnar blame Lovecraft for the entirety of the Persona franchise past two. Oh, I got in a TikTok comment chain the other day. You know the meme there's no war in bossing say. Yeah. Someone posted that about Avatar someone posted an Avatar video. Someone posted that in the comments. So I'm like, I wonder if I could start a fucking chain here. And I put under the guy's comment where it said, There is no war in bossing say, the exact same thing. There is no war in bossing say. And we got about 500 people doing it. It's great. Yeah. And also, I'm pretty more sure it's confirmed that the Persona 2 cast is like the strongest out of the entire franchise. Like, because, how do I say this? Because in Persona 2, didn't they go toe to toe with Narlathotep and won? Kind of. I think. Yeah, because they went toe to toe with Narlathotep and won. And the thing is, though. Nyarlathotep created the shadows, so that's a feat. Nyarlathotep. And then some. Yeah, sorry, bro. I had and to And then retire. some. And some fans have the gall to say, "Nah, uh, Joker be fucking yelled about who could control the desires." No, <laughs> no. That's not how that works. I mean, to quote Morgana. When it, he was only a demon lord, when a demon, or no, when he was only a god, when a god goes bad, it's a demon lord, it's a demon lord's job to put him in his place. Fucking epic quote from Morgana. Yes, and it took a regular human, or regular persona user to beat Nyarlathotep, who created the Shadow Realm. Yeah, you can send you to blame Nyarlathotep for the entire franchise. And yeah. Atlas never wanted to acknowledge it. For some reason. They, ne they never want to acknowledge it, and it pisses me off because there's so much lore in P1 and P2 that they can use, but because of the fact no fans played past three or before anything before three, they never want to acknowledge it because they don't want to end up alienating fans that are like so used to like gods and shit. So now there's like this disconnect between the old fans and the new fans where it's like. It's why a lot of like um, old school fans, even like uh, like of SMT and old Persona, don't like current fans, because all of them are either dick riding P5, or never w or just say that old games are outright bad, even though they're not. I like riding P5 dick though. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, Jet, uh, in one of my old videos, I named as a joke, I named it Persona One is better than Persona Five. Solely to piss off P5 fans, and someone in the stream ended up, ended up saying, Oh, yeah, messing with Persona 5 fans is my favorite pastime. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yep, yep, that'll do it. I forgot who the main villain of P2 was. It was not just Nyarlathotep, you know, it was someone else. Someone that would get the game fucking banned in Germany. Oh yeah! That guy! Sona. Give the game a fucking name at least. It's just called Elder Scrolls 6 right Oh now. yeah, I know it is a banger. I remember I commented in a video about it where it's like, I don't care if a story is shit. If the game is fun, then I'll play it. Which is why I'm playing the Persona like, 1, where it's like... Am I expecting... Oh, sorry. Like, even through all its faults, I'm still enjoying Persona 1. Like, you know, because I have the patience for it still. So, it's not that I hate it. It is heavily rewarding once you figure out what to do. It's just like, you know, obviously some things didn't age well. Oh yeah, Ninja well, Theory. Oh no, I feel so bad for them because 
Obviously, Hellblade 2 is not gonna sell. Oh boy. Hellblade. Oh, that's it. Oh, they're the ones. Who... They made Hellblade. Yeah, the DMC oh. Devil May Cry guys made Hellblade, which is amazing, by the way. Is that like really short, the new one? Yeah, it took five hours. And I mean, the whole the whole point of the game is to make you feel shit that a warrior would feel on the battlefield. That the rest of the way, does no, it? No, it was essentially a really, really, um, really accurate take of depression. That's essentially what it is. Because they actually hired therapists and tell them what people felt during depression. And they got it astoundingly accurate for the first game. The second game, though, I don't know. I mean, there's one thing I have to say about depression, though. Hang on. Where did I put that? Oh, yeah, KH4. I was bummed out with that, too. Like, I really want KH4. Oh, then they get delayed. No, it's not. No, it. We never heard of any delays for it. It was never delayed. It's just the fact that, K, K like mainline Kingdom Hearts games take forever to be made. The KH one. Was oh yeah, made you in, have to do all the licensing with Disney and all this shit. Making the, and the combat. The thing is though, KH one was released in 02. We didn't get Kingdom Hearts two until 2006. I thought it was 04 that game came out. And then we didn't get Kingdom Hearts 3 until 2018, 2019. There we go. Yeah, it's just a fact. I'm I'm really bummed out we're not getting KH4 soon. Because they're starting they're starting I don't starting see that a, coming out until 2030 at least. Because they're making a new arc for the series. Um, it's involving the Master of Masters. Because you know how people were waiting for KH3? Here's the thing. All the games that came out before KH3 were a part of one saga. Yeah. <laughs> the Dude, it's going to be amazing. Dude, what was this? Oh, that's not what I want to say. By the, the Kingdom Hearts storyline is the most confusing fucking thing on the planet. Oh, why? Can you, oh, can you hear my cat purring chat? He's on top of me. He's very happy. Um. Um. I made a big mistake. What'd you do? You know the thing I'm not supposed to be drinking? What thing? You know, not till I'm 21. Oh, that thing? Uh. Well, someone left a drink on the table. I thought it was Coke. And I asked my aunt, hey, can I have this? And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. She didn't tell me what it was. And I tasted it. And I'm like, oh, it must be iced tea or something. Then she looked at me, started <laughs> laughing, and is like, that is whiskey. And I'm like, oh, no. Whiskey. So oh. she knew. Oh, so if I start acting weird, you know why. You only took a sip of it. I took three big gulps. Oh, my God. Three big gulps of whiskey. Dude, I can have a fun. It it takes you like two cups, two cans of beer to get drunk. You're good. Yeah. Here's the thing. I never drank. So Ooh, yeah, you're gonna have low tolerance. I have a low tolerance. So if I start acting weird. Oh, boy. Luckily, I wasn't drinking it on stream, so it should be fine. You're fine. Okay, I'm just cleaning up some frosting that got on my arm. Let's see. Okay, stand on one leg. Okay. One, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Okay, I'm good. Uh, you did it wrong. You're supposed to do it backwards. No, you said from A to P. Oh, you're supposed to do the alphabet thing backwards in my state. How the fuck am I supposed to do it backwards? I don't know. I can't that. even do it. Dude, I can't do it backwards sober. It's bullshit. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Chat, was I close? Yeah. <laughs> I have you no idea. have defeated me. My master would be pleased to see it is you who vanquished me. Now go. Oh, the monster got beat up. What a dumb monster. How could it let them win? Oh, the fuck? Oh, it's you! 
Lilt. <laughs> I'm uh, just going to say it out loud, huh? Yes. Okay. I don't want to say it in voice. Because I thought it was soda or, like, iced tea, but no. I mean, you did it by accident. You're not, like, fucking gulping down alcohol right now. Yeah, I'm like, huh, this iced tea tastes weird. Yeah, she said it was Dude, a... I almost did that at a party when I was, like, 13 because I thought it was actual lemonade. You know what's funny? She said it was a slushy, and I'm like, okay, cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, Okay. Hockey, you're here for more mischief, aren't you? Up ahead is where I live. If you go in there, I'll never let you out. Uh, sure. We're still going in. You realize we absolutely must defeat Kandori. I won't let you. If you go in there, I'll trap you inside. You dumb kid. We're not going to fall for the same trick twice. And if you call me a monkey again, I'm literally going to take your head and bash it against those bricks. Too violent? Yeah. Whatever, Mark's a moron. You better start behaving or we'll really punish you. I'm not dumb, watch! I came up with a really fun game! You'll find a cute girl in it, wait and see! I came up with a game too, it's called Punt the Child Across the Room. <laughs> Kick the baby! <laughs> <laughs> the baby's <thought> up. <laughs> just, he just walks up to her and just fucking kicks her into the stairs. Like, out of the way, bitch! <laughs> I love that joke from South Park. It's so <laughs> fucked up. I never saw that joke, and I've been watching South Park. Recently. Oh no, it's a, it no, it's a very old joke. Like um, they it's been like a running joke for like the first couple seasons. I think they stopped doing it after a bit, but it was so fucking funny because uh, it was. Sad. Oh, wasn't it when Ike was a baby or whatever? Yeah, and they would randomly just Stan would just randomly just kick the baby, and he's like, "Go, don't kick the goddamn baby," and he's like, "Kick the baby," and he just punts it across the street. Oh my God! They killed Kenny. Those bastards. <laughs> Jet, don't just say yeet. <laughs> don't say yeet. That yeet! Doesn't, that doesn't make it better. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I'm the uncle in this scenario, and I still find this hilarious. I would never hit a kid, but you know. It's always fun seeing kids eat shit. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of is. <laughs> but, uh, also, this is one of the few SMT games where the world ended and they're not using uh, the demon currency or whatever. Je no, the world didn't end. It's a gonna end. Just kidding. <laughs> Say why? Oh, no. Persona, you're saving the world from ending, and then for SMT, you're kind of just dealing with the fact that the world ended. I still would have called Persona Demonic Wasteland if it were up to me, but no. Or not Persona, SMT. No. Yeah, pretty much. SMT was the first creature battler that people can really think of. God knows no one was playing fucking Digimon. I'll have you know Digimon's amazing. I'll have you know the most recent game people hated because it was 90% visual novel. What's wrong with having a good story? Eh, I mean, I never played it, so I can't really say anything about it. And honestly, it looks pretty good, but I'm not that into Digimon lore to care. Leave it to me. Why, though? It's amazing! You know there was only one part of Digimon that was censored compared to other anime that 4Kids had? Why, what happened? Okay, so, you know, like, they tend to censor bathing scenes in the West? Yeah. Mostly in kids' anime? Yeah. There was a part in the bathing scene where two of the, uh, two of the, like, the kids got out of the bath, and you, you could see their butts on screen, and they had to censor it. Oh, that's good. For the American <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Jet. Which nah, the makes first. sense. <laughs> nah, shut up, Jet. The first creature battler people could think of is Pow World. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Yeah, so that was the only edit they made to Digimon. Yet, Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, they couldn't seem to leave alone. Shockingly enough, right? 
Yeah, the only problem they had with Digimon was accidental underage nudity. Either it's that it's drink is starting to, to kick in, but either it's that drink starting to kick in, or I'm starting to get a headache. You're probably not used to drinking whiskey. <sighs> okay, I am chilled out right now. I mean, if we have to stop early, we'll stop early. Nah, dude, we can keep going. <laughs> Shut up, Jet. Nah, you can make that 100 turn into a million. <laughs> okay, I could, but I'm also not a fan of blowing all my money at the casino. I have standards, damn it, and I also want to drink more than I want to gamble, so. Yeah, you're there for the drink, not for the gambling. I'm there for the drinks in the restaurants, I have a Tropicana. Fan fucking tastic selection. I wanted to get a massage last time I was there, but it, even though I paid for the resort package, it wasn't included with the resort pet. Or no, so Tropicana charges a resort fee, and for some reason, re resort treatments aren't included in that resort fee, so they're literally charging you to use a resort that you're not using. Oh no, that wasn't Trop, that was Harris. I'm talking about hotels in Atlantic City. Never stay at Harris. They Fucking... Were you just singing? Are you alright, man? Holy shit, I think Shinigami actually might be drunk. Yeah? Are you actually drunk right now? No, I'm just fucking with you. Jet's like, he did the surprise, surprise face emoji. <laughs> surprise face emoji. <laughs> I think the weird iced tea got to him. You know how the stream was delayed, right? <laughs> yeah. He probably didn't hear it until like a couple seconds later. <laughs> If I was sell, uh, to be fair, Jet, if I was selling, uh, weapons in a, uh, in an apocalypse, I'd probably be wearing face protection, too. Yeah. Like this, this demon infested city. Also, usually if you go to those, like, flea market weapon stands, they always have tasers on them to prevent you from touching the merchandise. Pretty much. Oh, so this is where I get the better guns. Cool. I like how there's a gun called Mad Max. <laughs> Mad Max. Someone is a movie buff on staff. I don't know who. No, I couldn't do like a... Even if I was gay, I don't think I could do a butt plug. Oh, no, no. it's the rebob. I don't think anyone wants to. Ugh. What's this for? Better? So... Man, what's it the doom and gloom? This place can be used for brightening up. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I had, to take a, I had to take a thing the other day, and that made me be like, Yup, no. <laughs> Looks like we got some fresh faces, but they're clueless. The fuck you just say to me? Clueless faces, bitch. The fuck? Um, you want to read that? That sounds like you want to. It does. Pink, Pink Afro Af man. Yeah, so straight. Oh, it must look sad to you, huh? Yep, the harem queens are only salvation. <laughs> Full house. Uh -huh. Full house. Oh, wait, I'm winning the pink guy, right? Yeah. Here's the orange haired lady if you want to do him. Tee hee. I'm what you'll end up as later. You'll understand sooner or later, my boy. Are we just in a casino? gambling den. Afro drunk, huh? Oh, we're in a bar. You guys had from outside. Piss me off. I remember. I remember now. I remember the outside. <laughs> uh, I won't go outside. Ain't that funny. All right. No, no, everyone. Let's all toast to each other with our heads held high. We shall fate. What's the use of this bickering? Not so long as we loyally serve our harem queen. If I had to have a business in the apocalypse, or like in this kind of situation, 
like an emergency situation, I would probably sell water because that's like the best thing to sell in that kind of situation. Uh, you're painting awesome, Queen. Can I go home now? Wow, that one looks like a prostitute. Look at the fucking thighs on her ass. <laughs> Downcast woman. A labyrinth of sadness forgotten the evil at the time. Only alcohol does my suffering. Yeah, but the thighs probably save lives, girl. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> that fucking bitch. He took all the decent looking men. So, you two and frickings use, they want to say fucking but can't say it because they get rated him. I want to go to the harem too. Don't we all? Huh, people with sense don't. No, I'd never participate in an orgy because that's how you get STDs. Oh, so they're just, whoever this queen is, they're trying to. Yeah, they all want to look like her. Whatever you do, say nice things about the Queen's painting. If you don't... Oh, what happened? If they don't, they'll tie you up outside and strip you naked. Happened to me once. It's really fucking weird. No one may leave the market, such as the decree of the Harem Queen. This market's mistress. You must make every effort to carry the Queen's favor. Let, let's go to the palace. We gotta hurry, man. Wait, what? where the fuck are we? I'm in awe of the size of that lad. Absolute unit. <laughs> we, don't, fuck, we don't have any time to waste playing along with this queen's stupid rules. Which is scarier. By the, the way, which is scarier, that woman in the corner. Which is scarier, the, the apocalypse, someone in assault gear and a gun, or someone in a furry gear with a gun? <laughs> someone in furry gear with a gun. It's like a fucking purge situation at that point. 100%. Which, speaking of the people that make Purge, they have a game studio now, which me and Shinny got me just figured out today. Oh yeah, Blumhouse. My son's right. Let's go meet this queen. I'm gonna ask her to let us out of here. Wait, we got locked out? How the fuck we get locked out? Nope. No, so there's not a specific queer chicken place, but there are queer, uh... There's plenty of queer-owned restaurants, which is a good thing. Only gay parties I've gone to were a gay cowboy tea party. Jesus Christ, Doc. Gay ca hey, there once were two cowboys on the trail who discovered they can sleep with another male and they had gay sex. Now that is an old family guy bit. That's I, like season two. I went as a fruity Arthur Morgan. Oh, oh my God. What? Doc Only apparently... gay parties I've been to. He, Doc went as a fruity Arthur Morgan. <laughs> oh, speaking of gay parties. So... We didn't go to this, obviously. But when we were little, I don't think I've told this story. So I was like maybe eight, nine-ish. And we wanted to go to Six Flags that day. Which is a theme park for those who don't have them. But uh, yeah, so we wanted to go to Six Flags that day. And for some reason, the Six Flags by me has a tradition every year where this rich gay guy rents out the entire park to have a queer day. And we didn't know about this. So when we got to the front gates, my dad was like mortified to find out. So my dad's like not really the most comfortable around LGBT people because just the way he was, he was brought up in. And he was mortified. You should have saw his face. It was fucking brilliant. Where am and I? And he laughed on the way out being like we shouldn't have came here on gay day. Where am I? Fuck. Does anyone ever buy the ad free Twitch thing? I don't think anyone ever does. Siri, how do you recruit toilets in Persona 1? <laughs> <laughs> Siri, my toilet's clogged assistance. It doesn't look like you have an app named my toilet's clogged assistance. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did that come on mic? Yep. <laughs> he heard it. Yes! <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. It's a shame that Shoji Meguro left the company. Because I remember Shoji Meguro did a lot of the music for SMT. I don't know who the Shoji Meguro person is. He's not for the small man. He's the guy that practically made the Persona music. Like, he did the entirety of... He did most of the soundtrack of P3, P4, and P5. 
Like, he was added into it after P3, or after P2, because, you know, the composer, I think, passed away for P2 and P1. Right. So they couldn't really do much. Okay, I have an idea. Every time there's no battle, I'll mute the music, so that way we can, like, properly, like, savor it. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Just to not ruin the immersion, I'm going to put back the title card and increase the music a bit. So that you destroy the immersion. So I gotta find a trap door. A lot of trap doors, apparently. <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah, you're right. This is the only Persona game with an elevator. Oh my god. I just... Yeah, it is. You just... You, you, you barely... Wait. Hold on. Wait, no, that's, that's wrong. Persona 5 has an elevator in the first dungeon. That doesn't count. Yes, it does, because you can get to the you can get to the back and the front of the dungeon using the elevator. I don't know about that. I am so glad that Persona 5 made Atlas start to do their own stuff. Like for like making unique dungeons, because at some point it was gonna get annoying. Yeah, it takes a man to save the Mushroom Kingdom, but it takes an even real ma It takes an even better man to ride a fucking motorcycle with Veloci Velociraptors to take down a genetically mutated T-Rex Raptor hybrid thing. But the whale was the one that had the kill shot. God, I really I like Jurassic World. I didn't like the sequels. I like the first one, though. Really good. Get young, yeah, out of voice Brock. Doc, I think you meant you mean Kiryu VA. Kiryu's VA. Because remember... Because I told you this last time that Young Yeah voices Kiryu in the English dub. Listen, if we need to get a real man in that voice acting booth, I don't know where I'm going with this. <sighs> Listen, we need to just get Bryce Pappenbrook to voice everybody in the in the game or in the movie. Yeah. He's already doing that in Hollywood already. Hold on, I'm gonna have to increase your volume real quick because the Spotify is kind of overtaking the voice. There we go. I feel like Yuri Lowenfall can make a decent Ash. He probably would. I mean, the actor. Oh, yeah, I remember one time, like, um, they brought back for an interview, they brought back the original Ash actor. Dude, she's so old, but she's so sweet. She acts really sweet. Speaking of voice acting, I'm mad. The, to the total drama season's finally out, and. So. Apparently, okay, the, Chris the Chris actor did some really bad stuff, and he's like... The actor did some really awful shit that I'm mad about, because, like, dude, that's fucking disgusting. But and now same... we can't... And he, like, made the characters, so the new voice actor that they got for... Instead of finding a new voice actor, they recycled a voice actor that played a different host. And I don't know why they... I'm not mad about, like, Chris Matenza not voicing the character. I'm mad about they the fact a guy that they to just do took a the dude that voiced... They took the guy that voiced the host for Total Drama Redonculus Race, and I can't not see that dude from Redonculus Race now in the character. Like, they couldn't have gotten somebody else. Like, yeah. come on, Teletoon. Oh, uh, TOS. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it feels like a miscast. Like, they could have gotten someone better. I remember the Yakuza 7 when it came out. They got the original 2002 VA to 2005 for Yakuza 1 VA to come out and reprise the role but they couldn't get him back again for eight and it was so weird because people like saw him oh chris oh chris mcclain yeah uh yeah uh let's just say he diddled one of the campers for real yeah we're That's not gonna all I'm allowed to say on the subject yeah as for kiryu yeah it feels like a miscast it's actually very hard to find exactly what he did that's all we know that he did and he should be in jail for that? It's just a fucking shame because he kind of made the character with his smarmy Canadian voice. Yeah, so essentially, you they have to try to live up to a role by a, for a, a role that belonged to a bad person. That, and they took a role... He was already... The guy they got the voice, like the new Chris McClane, was already in another host role for the other show, what they should have done was just made up an excuse like they did in Total Drama All-Stars and been like, they could have easily been like, 
Chris went to jail permanently, so we're replacing him with Don for Total Drama. For Total Drama or Donkey's Race. But I think they were too far into production because... What they did was they produced the uh, international versions first this time. And because they did that, they they couldn't just change Chris out. So when it came time to voice the English version, things had to be done. Which way is east, left, or right? Like, east is on the right, right? Sorry, I'm dumb. I can't tell the difference. I haven't even seen the new season yet, because he keeps saying it's on HBO Max. I keep looking on HBO Max. I It's not there. Like, yeah. I don't know what the fuck's going on, or if I'm just stupid. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's not... It's not that. Like, um... It's not, that's not your fault. Don't worry about it, Doc. I think it's just the... No, nah, you're good. I think it's just my... I think it's on my end. I'm gonna change the music, because it's gonna be but like, uh, it's not on you. It's not your fault. I think it's just. Um, I think it's just. Uh, hold on. I think it's just the fact that like I'm, I did things super slow. I need to figure out how to increase it, make it faster. I'm on the very unpopular opinion that Total Drama peaked at World Tour because oh, it did. It did. East is fucking dead. Okay, cool. World Tour is still the best season of that show, and I'll die on that hill. Because what happened at the World Tour is the writers changed, and they decided to undo all the shit that happened in World Tour and make it just worse for the characters on the show. That is not how you write a sitcom. And before HBO is not available in re in the region. Okay. Yeah, that's the other annoying thing. Some people can't get in the region. I don't know why the fuck it's not on my HBO. It's fucking irritating. <laughs> God damn it, I'm muted. Yeah. I ho I'm hoping SMT4 and Apocalypse, yes, including Apocalypse. And y'all are gonna say this is blasphemy to blasphemy? I personally like Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> you think JP had a boss mistake? I have him too. Um, not gonna lie, Apocalypse is not bad. At all. Oh, 100% they are, dude. Like, I'm not gay, but. It's a reboot, time, it's a reboot to the face. Like, God, uh, I can't get over fucking. Oh, yeah, Doc, I agree. Like, they are hot. I, I'm not gay, but if I was, yeah, I'd want to date. I, I want to date them. No, I got Shinigami's totally gay. Don't listen to him. Shut up. <laughs> but yeah, like... No, but you did tell me you're into girls that could kick your ass. On multiple occasions. Well, yeah. Oh, shit. They're hot. I mean, so am I. Yeah, I like them fit. What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, um... Fucking... What's that anime? Tomo-chan is a girl is amazing. Because <laughs> essentially... Oh! That's yeah, was... like, don't say that, Japan Lover 79. What did I say? Oh, that you hate SMT 4s dungeons. Oh, I thought I said something really bad on stream for a second. Like, oh god, what did I say? Like, because here's the thing. I was telling this earlier that SMT 4 fans can be as just as bad as Persona 5 fans. That is a fact I will die on. Because they can be. Because they get so fucking annoying. Because they compare Okay, then I'll kill you for that fact. <laughs> because they compare it. Like, oh yeah, SMT 4 does have that best boss music. But, yeah. Like, the dick sucking for SMT4 is a bit much. Is it deserved? I refuse to Kinda. Suck dick. <laughs> but... I'd rather castrate SMT4 than suck its dick, thank you. Yeah. Like, SMT4, does it deserve some of the dick writing? Yes, some of it. But not so much that they say <laughs> it's like, you know, that every game should be, like, just like it. And it's like, ugh, it's so annoying. Like I said, they could be as bad as P5 fans. <laughs> Fuck off. This game sold over 600,000 copies. What happened? SMT4 sold over 600,000 copies. Aha, that means people loved it. Destructive gave it a 9.5 out of 10. Really? Yep. <laughs> that means you're the outlier. I am the like I said, outlier. I said the game deserves some of the dick sucking, not all of it, because... Ugh, it gets annoying after a bit. 
Am I, do I believe that SMT4 is the better game? Yes, it's better than Apocalypse, 100%. But the thing is, it's like... It gets annoying hearing them, like, suck its dick every now and again, over and over again. It gets annoying after a bit. Great game! Community can get kind of toxic. There's a reason Persona fans and mainline SMT fans don't like each other. Both Listen, have, if you're gonna suck it, both any dick, ups and downs. make sure it's consensual, children. Yes, of course. Both communities have its ups and downs. Like, I'm an SMT guy, but you don't hear me constantly, like, dick riding SMT3. Because even I believe SMT3 has its own flaws. Because I only barely got into the series. HBO, in we're life. drunk right now. Try again later. The, uh, yeah, HBO fucking sucks, dude. I have, like, Paramount now, and I only have that for The Amazing Race. Fucking love that show. Oh, appar apparently, Jet, uh, Jet, apparently they gave SMT4 a 95 out of 100. Or 9.5. Oh, wow, I just noticed those sprites have visible nips. Interesting. Okay. Like, it's gonna be a very big year for AAA, which is a good and a bad thing. Hey, a lot I know... of indie games are gonna go under the radar. Hey, I know this painting. It's Chisato's. Hold on, I'm gonna put the music back on or increase it. What? She chopped it. There! Fuck, I, I slurred my mark. The audio. Now that is a global volume. euphemism if I've ever heard one. I slurred my mark. There we go. Make it a bit louder because it's a bit too low. What? That's your touch. Fuck! Why can't I say that in Mark's voice? What? Chisato Kasai's. I thought they said she went missing. Whoa. What? Now then. Wait, Shisato's painting is here? I thought they were saying... Wait, man, oh my god, I can't mark tonight. What? So Shisato's painting... I can't mark tonight. What? Shisato's painting is here? And they were saying it's the Queen's? <gasps> Mind blown. His mind, his portrait just explodes. But why? Does this mean Chisato is being held captive by the Harem Queen? The hey fuck? guys, did I ever tell you about the aliens that are hiding in our burritos? Oh, fuck. I'm an idiot. Who the hell are you? Uh, a this shirtless is the, man. This is the Harem Queen's painting. Isn't it lovely? Our queen is both talented and gorgeous. How many moles only enhance her beauty? She once showed me a painting by someone she knew, and I wretched at the sight. He looks. By like the way, you can. Looks like he's t posing the god or some shit. You can grind cheese on my abs. <laughs> That's my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh bridge joke. You can grind cheese on his abs. Yes, but the smile tends to linger. No shit. Fuck off, no my... Oh, he's shit. like. Whoa! Look at that. Um, look at my HP. I see. He's like, why are there so many stairs? I want to find the guy who made these stairs and push him down these stairs just to show him how stupid stairs are. Then his legs will be broken and his life will leave him and go marry the guy who invented the elevator. Okay, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to leave it at that and then kill myself. The stupidest monologue, but it's still so funny every time I hear it. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm not even close to being at the top yet. Why are there so many stairs? <laughs> Fucking love that stupid monologue. Okay. Like, little Kariba wants to play Kaiba. He'll go ham playing Kaiba. That's right. Give everybody that muscle drink. Them steroids are good for you, children. Not really. I need to equip the thing that lowers the enemy count. Hold on. Clean salt. There we go. They said to go... You might have what? Hey, Jet, you alive? Wait. Someone poisoned? He got poisoned. God damn it. Oh, yeah. And then you get those those ads, and then like, they they play it. They expect you to play a game that it's like, oh, join my clan. You get like bonus shit. That's usually how yeah, it goes. That, that, but, that fucking shit. 
even though no one's ever gonna do that. Like they join the clan for like a few hour, few days, and, and then leave. you join the clan. It's just immediately dead when you join the clan. Join my clan now and get 500 silver and blah 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 blah. Yeah, that's pretty much. Or enter the code. This game sucks at 500. That's pretty much how it goes. <laughs> The immersion has been broken this stream. My last play. Alright, guys. Thank you, Jet and Doc. You guys were amazing, amazing viewers. Uh, we're gonna end the stream here for anyone af watching after the stream. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And go subscribe to JP here. You want to go? Want to give a you, shout out? You can pretty much find me anywhere at Japan Lover seventy nine, on like Twitch, YouTube, and stuff. But if you want to follow my TikTok, that's JPL seven nine. Yeah, hold on. Just in case, I even link it here on the chat. So, uh, see y'all. I guess. I am everywhere, unfortunately. <laughs> And yeah, so if you're watching after the stream or during a video, because I edit these vi streams into videos, so you guys can watch it and not have to like watch a whole three and a half hours. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you think more than enough for your time. And just leave any comments if you want to say any nice things to me or any crit any like criticisms you have. And uh, yeah, I'm going to see you guys. It's like 125 in my in my end. See y'all. 224 on mine. See ya.